Okay, so this is Edward broadcasting live on Justin.tv slash Edward Starcraft, and I'm casting a game between me and Dude Smack. Dude Smack is a Terran player. He's in Masters League, and I believe, uh, you know, he's definitely a very good Terran. He's good at macro. He's good at everything. I, however, am just a lowly 1,500-point uh, diamond. I just got promoted into diamond a few days ago. I'm 1,500 points with about a 950 bonus pool. So that kind of gives you uh, overall... Um, standing about where I am versus Dude Smack. And this is a game that I was uh, playing against him in the King of the Hill game, uh, casted by Immortal Zero. Immortal Zero, uh, shout out to that, because I mean, Immortal Zero picked up a King of the Hill that I was leaving uh, last night because I was 12 a.m., 1 a.m., my roommate had it to go to bed. And, you know, Immortal Zero is like, I'll pick up the King of the Hill. He had it going until like 10, 11 a.m. my time because I woke up at 12 and then like 11 a.m. Uh, my, my Skype had a message from Mortal Zero and he's like, okay, I'm finally signing off. Are you there? Uh, because my computer was uh, on. I had an alarm that turned on the computer. And he's like, are, are you there? I can pass my viewers back to you. I'm like, Unfortunately, I'm not. But anyways, uh, this was hosted by Immortal Zero, so thank you, Immortal Zero, for hosting this game. And this is a, a game between me and Dudes Mac. And so, against Terran, I always open up with a very standard Protoss build. I open up with the two-gate robotics facility build. And uh, you can see here what that consists of. Almost always, I will open my first 18 supply with 9 pylon, 13 gateway, 14 assimilator, 16 pylon and then 18 cybernetic square oops i pulled off two drones over here uh two stuff i always open with that and then i go into a two gate robotics facility build uh, it's because i believe it's one of the better builds against terran players it's very balanced very uh good you know i'm i'm like microing my probe around here and then i get uh distracted i don't remember to put my guys into a simulator but that's not that's not a huge deal Anyways, so you see me destroying one of his SCVs, not a huge deal as well. So we're going to take this a uh, look at this uh, just through my view because I just want to make sure. And so, you know, right now I'm scouting the Terran player, right? And I'm scouting Dude's Mac. And so when you scout a Terran player, you want to know uh, what exactly is he doing, right? And so what that means is you scout uh, several things like what... How much gas does he have? So you you see, I scout that he has only one gas, which is a very balanced build. You know, if he has no gas, that means that he may be going for some early pressure because you can't really do anything without gas besides build marines. So if he has no gas, that means I should expect early get pressure. If he has two gases, however, that means that I should be expecting uh, a lot of you know, tech. So maybe like a banshee rush or something. Also, you want to uh, scout what add-on he gets onto here and I believe uh, this is a tech lab you can click on it when it's building uh, but I'm going to actually yeah I'm just going to leave this so I believe I scouted a tech lab which is a very balanced uh, you know, sort of build right it's a very natural uh, sort of build I also get the Zalnaga tower over here I think it's very good to get the Zalnaga tower now you can see I'm going to reverse a little here so you can see my build I'm just doing the two gate robotics facility build, but uh, 18 cybernetic score. I build a zealot at uh, right after, you know, as I can afford. I'm still constantly building probes. I like to use all of my chrono boosts on my probes. I, I you know, don't usually chrono boost out uh, warp gate technology unless it's like near the end. I need it done or something cool like that. I don't usually do that. Instead, I, I just uh, build it and then I chrono boost out probes. I like to go very economically friendly. And you can see here already, I have 22 harvesters to Dude Smack's uh, 16. Mm, you know, he, he, I don't know that, right? But uh, that means I have already 100, uh, 120 more minerals of income than him, which is very nice to have. And the later that he waits to attack me, I mean, this is definitely, uh, it, it, I wouldn't say it's vulnerable to early aggression, but the later he waits to attack me, that means the more ahead I am. And so anyways, we're going to go on. Now, you see, I'm constantly building probes. I get supply block for a few seconds because I'm, uh, I'm you know, not perfect at this game. So I, I don't like to say I'm perfect at this game, especially, like, I think, uh, like, when I do cast my own games, I, I say I'm bad at macro. And uh, yes, you'll see me completely fail at macro quite a few times. Uh, but you can see I, I build a stuff. I focus most... Probes are my first priority, then units are my second priority. I make sure to get the Stalker out as soon as possible. So Zealot, Stalker, and then Sentry. Very good starting army. After I get uh, probes, units, and then it, I, of course make sure I get pylons before probes or units. Uh, and then 
Yeah. Well, pylons and probes are equal priority. Units are second priority. And then uh, you can see me then going for buildings. And now I have enough money. Uh, when I had enough money to build a gateway, I built one. Now I have enough money to build a robotics facility while building units by building probes. This is what they call good macro. You see, I'm keeping my money low. I'm building stuff from everything. Uh, now I believe I might let this lapse for like a few seconds because I want to get my uh, my chrono boost finished. And I think I wait for my warp gate tech to finish. Nope, no, I'm still building, right? I just, you know, bad at macro, right? I had a few seconds where I wasn't doing any anything. So I was scouting again. I was scouting and I saw a, a few marines, a marauder. I'm going to reverse a little, a few seconds so you guys can see that. Uh, so I'm going to send in my probe to scout. And then you see two marauders, one marine. Uh, this is interesting, you know. Uh, usually, by now, a Terran player should have more army than that if they're going for a bio ball. And so it's either he's doing some sort of weird tech, he's doing some sort of weird tech, uh, he's doing which I think is unlikely. He didn't get really the refinery that early, but maybe he's doing some sort of weird tech. Uh, the other option that's happening is maybe he's going for a fast expansion. Uh, but you know, I do know he doesn't have too much of an army right now. He's doing something weird. Uh, I still don't quite feel safe. I, I and I want to talk about my army composition here. Uh, and. So I'm sending in another probe since I... Uh, okay, I'm sending a probe over here to just kind of wait over here uh, so I know when he gets his expansion. And so, no, I'm getting out Immortal... And here's my unit composition. I don't like Stalkers. Stalkers, I don't like at all. Stalkers cost 125 minerals, 50, min uh, 50 gas. Okay. For this... For about the same cost of a Stalker, for 100 minerals... Uh, 150 minerals and 100 gas, I can get a zealot and a, a sentry. So a little more uh, than a stalker. I, well, not a little more. Uh, but now I see him getting an expansion. I'm like, oh shoot, he's going to be ahead. But here's the thing. I've been constantly building uh, units from all of my... You see my warp gate's still on cooldown, still building these. Uh, these. So that means at this point, I'm going to have a larger army than him. Because he built his command center already. That means... And his command center hasn't quite paid off. That means his army, if he's uh, good at macro, which he is. Dude's Mac is a master's level player. He's going to be behind in his army value. And uh, now I'm going to cheat here, right? And show you that I have more army than him. I have more army by approximately actually 400. Uh, not quite minerals, but uh, you see like 100 over here or so, 200 over... Yeah, just 100 over here. I ha he had 950, I had 1,075, but I had 400 extra gas. So I, I am ahead by about 400 worth of resources. Uh, he, he does have more minerals because he has uh, mules. He is a Terran player. Anyway, so I decide I'm going to move in and expand my own. I like macroing, but because I had this extra time to build, you know, I had uh, however many seconds of extra time to build units, that means I have a larger army than him. So I know it's a good time uh, to attack. Now... Uh, remember, my army composition. I like those Immortals, okay? I like those Immortals. Immortals do uh, the same amount of damage as two Stalkers to light units, to these Marines. They do two and a half times as much damage to heavy units, like these Marauders. In contrast, these Stalkers, they do 10, uh, uh, you know, they only do 40% more damage on Marauders and stuff. Uh, stalkers also take more damage from Marauders because they don't have the hardened shield of the Immortals. So... And if you have two stalkers, one stalker dies, then you, you only have one stalker. If you have immortal, it dies halfway, then you still have a immortal. And it still will do full damage, and it will recharge its entire shield. So immortals, better than stalkers in most cases, unless they have aerial uh, units. So uh, instead, I, I spend you know most of my gas on immortals and then sentries. So the biggest the biggest downfall about Immortal is that it is slower than a Stalker. It also cannot attack air. Uh, so the, I compensate for its slow speed by force fields. By force fields because I also have Zealots. Zealots do a, uh, a lot of damage. They do more damage than Stalkers. Uh, they're also cheaper. They also uh, have more health. I would say more health because their life portion has armor and he has more life than the Stalkers. But anyways, they're cheaper. They do a lot of damage as well. And they restrict movement of uh, Terran's units. Restricting movement, very good. Uh, Terran units are very fragile, but they do a lot of damage. Very fragile because these Marines only have 45 damage uh, health. If they die, then they die. So anyways, so you can see me. I'm going to force field. 
make it hard for him to move away. Now he's trying to run away, right? But he's taking damage from me as he runs away. And now he has himself in this corner. It's going to tr and Marauders don't do bonus damage to Zealots. And now I take out all of his army. Now you take a look at my army value. Wow, my army value is still nearly the same as it was before. His army value was very close to mine, but now I take away all of his health. All of his health over here. All of his army is dead, and now that leaves me free to, t to start taking out his harvesters. We're going to go to income tab. I know we're just going to cheat a little on uh, what I see, but uh, you can see that I'm ahead on income. And after I kill these SCVs over here, I will be even more ahead on income. He's, okay, he's slightly ahead because he has mules, but uh, he, he doesn't have as many harvesters as me. Even though he has the mules, he has a temporary income boost, and it's okay. So uh, his mule is like brand new, I'll just kill it. So you can see, I'm going to focus on stuff I'm, I'm able to kill. This or orbital command, I'm probably not going to be able to kill it before it dies. Okay, these sentries and these stalkers got kind of distracted. Uh, but anyways, so I do kill some harvesters, and you see he goes down to now 25 harvesters. Harvesters, 23 harvesters actually. I poke up, he's making uh, two bunkers. I decide it's not worth pushing back in. I try to snipe like one last unit, and even I do think I get getting three more units over here. Hey, cool. Force field, so useful. One more marauder at one health. Killed it. Okay, there we go. You see, force fields, so useful for pro uh, toss. Use them. And at the same time, now I have my new nexus. It's ready to pay off. I'm building uh, two more buildings over here. Two more gateways. I'm also getting a Twilight Council. 